final. Gemini against Tornado. Gemini, the seeded robot at number eight, and you can see why, can't you? Devastating so far. Now, to get to the heat final, they actually fought together earlier to destroy Caterkiller, you'll remember. Tornado then crashed Berserk 2, an easy victory, while Gemini defrocked the creature. For a place in the series semi-finals, well, it's very tense here, and looking at the robots and their previous performance, I don't know who my money's on, actually. We've got here sort of two baby Chaos 2s, have we not? Yeah, kind of. Which could be a formidable opponent. It could be. And Tornado, very, very powerful. Yes, indeed. That's what you're relying on. Well, we should be able to push them around because, of course, when they're separated, they weigh half of what we do, but we're still worried about that weapon. It's very powerful. It flipped us before and it could flip us again. So we're going to try and stay out of the way. Marchant, David Gamble, Brian Ross and Tornado stay out of trouble, blow them away, says the message. There they are, hopeful. From St. Leonard's on Sea, seed number eight, Gemini. Fantastic machine, Shane Howard, Brian Fountain and young Daryl Howard. Only ten, must be proud. Tornado, Gemini, replacing the series semi-finals. Three, two, one. Gemini splitting immediately from the start. Now each of those microbots then, half the weight of Tornado, but still each can flip Tornado up into the air, which makes it doubly impressive for me. Tornado though on the drive, slams one of the twins against the arena wall, and don't forget, as soon as one is out, both are out. Technical consultant Derek Foxwell and his team very, very strict on weights in this series of Robot Wars. But at the moment, Tornado is the heavyweight of this class, slamming in on part of Gemini, and I think impaling Gemini there. Not quite impaled on the arena spike, but Tornado coming back in to make sure and slamming Gemini. And I think half the robot is impaled on the arena wall. Can they get away there? If they're immobilized for longer than 30 seconds, that's it. And Tornado would be the winner. Gemini, the cluster bot against Tornado with a more orthodox look. And I think uh, part of the cluster bot trying to get the other side of the machine, the other twin off the arena wall, flipping Tornado up in the air. They're the Tornado team. They all work together. And working together magnificently in Robot Wars and the twins helping each other out there as well. Trying to breathe life into its twin sister there. But is it too late? They were warned. If part of the cluster bot was immobilized for more than 30 seconds, they would be dead and out of it. Tornado, meanwhile, a clever game. It can work either side up, so flipping and tossing Tornado won't work. Will it go for the judges? What's the decision here? Very close. Brilliant final. Well, a bit of controversy. The rules say that a cluster robot, that's a robot of two or more parts, after it's separated, if one of those parts breaks down for more than 30 seconds and is mobilized for more than 30 seconds, because it's only one robot, then it's out. So the winner is Tornado! <laughs> Well, lads, it was an amazing engineering feat. <laughs> but you were aware of that rule. Oh, yeah, yeah, they beat Spoon Square. And, but, so it was a, quite a risky strategy, really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what went wrong with half of it, then? Um, got rammed on that spike over there, and we think it's taken out either the speed controller or one of the batteries or something. See, when you've got two robots acting sort of independently of each other, you've got two chances of, of yeah. going out, haven't you, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got two, two big weapons as well, so yeah. it's two times more chances of getting thrown up in the air as well. So. Yeah. But you've taken it all in good spirit. You'll oh, come yeah. back, won't you? Definitely, yeah. Let's hear it for Gemini! Tornado! Come on! Well, you're through for the series semi-finals. That is a powerful robot, isn't it? It is indeed. Um, it wasn't an easy fight. That, that's a couple of damn good robots they've got there. Um, we lost a chain about halfway through, but that, by that time we'd already immobilised one of theirs. 
And it's, then, uh, it's just the power of the thing of yours. It's just, it's just so awesome. What's yeah. it like when you've got a fight? Like, you know, two separate robots at once. It's difficult. It's very difficult. It's a very good idea. And it, we were just so lucky that we managed to spot, uh, impale them on that spike. And then if right. it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have got through. So I think there's going to be a lot more robots like that in the future of Robot Wars, yeah, aren't there? Yeah, I think it's a very... Uh, Good idea for the future for people building out there. So good luck in the series semi-finals, lads. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, I've heard a few wolf whistles and a good many fours. Because there's only good-looking robots on Robot Wars. Bye bye.